Today I am in Mexico, although I'm very honored to talk about the Indian machines again with my friend Guillermo. We have three machines to talk about, and for those of you who have been paying attention, these videos are trending all over the interweb right now, hundreds of thousands of views, because we're seeing hand scraping in India. We're seeing a foundry of high quality castings in India and showcasing high precision to the micron level in a price point that's responsible coming from from India, Guillermo. I'm so excited to talk with you. We have three machines here. We're gonna start with the first one, but how has business been here in Mexico with these amazing Ace Micromatic machines? Okay, Tony, Antonio. Antonio, I like it in Espanol. <laughs> okay, thanks for coming to our booth. Uh, we are in Mexico since three years. But since four months, we are in a joint venture with Ace Micromarket International to intensify our uh, sales in Mexico. So let's, let me introduce to the first machine. This is a, one of the smallest size of lathes. Uh, it's an horizontal lathe that uh, has a eight station turret. And as you can see here, we have ourselves integrated a Cobot for the loading and unloading. That machine can also be completed with a bar feeder in order to have an automatic production. So you uh, feed the bar from that side. The component can be machined as per the CNC program. And when it comes to the end, it, it can be cut off. The cutoff will be collected by an arm that deposits the part into that box. So the operator doesn't have to open the door, neither should the machine open automatically. To me, Guillermo, this is how we take one step forward with a, I would call somewhat simple or entry level machine, right? We have one turret, we have one spindle. We see machines out there from Ace Micromatic with several turrets and several spindles, right? But this is a way to take that, that simpler production and go, okay, bar feed. That means I'm taking raw stock and putting it in. Okay, let's get a cobot. We're taking that finished part and putting it here and it allows me to walk around to wherever I want and get other jobs done to my other machines while this one does all the work for me. Okay, okay. As I told you at the beginning, we listen to the customer. We try to understand what are their problems and we aim to solve their problems. We don't sell the machines just by price or just by quoting. We need to understand what is the real problem to give, them, to give the customer uh, the right solution, a manufacturing solution that fits to his budget, but also satisfies his requirements. Guillermo, to me, that is the most important thing you can say, and I'll tell you why. You could sell this machine to someone, put it on their floor and walk away. And if you don't help them with their solution, you're not gonna sell a second machine, are you? But coming in with a solution means we can come in with a second solution and a third solution. You are and right. that's where you succeed, isn't it? That's, you are right. I have no customer that has bought one. They all come back for more. Repeat orders all that, the time. That's how you know your service is good. All right, let's invite the audience over to our second machine. To my understanding, Guillermo, this second machine is a drill tap style machine, which means it's gonna be very fast. So let's go over some of the speeds, let's go over some of the tool change options, and it looks like even if somebody wants to rotate a second job in, that's the same job or a different job, whether it's a high mix, low volume, or high volume, low mix, totally up to them. But this is that style for more of a drill tap, right? You are right. That machine is a drilling and tapping machine, which is a vertical machine in center, dedicated mainly for drilling and tapping, although it also, uh, it can also make uh, milling operations uh, and the machine can carry spindles up to 32,000 RPMs, which is fairly high. The machine is very compact, as you said, but very compact and rigid. We don't save money on cast iron. Cast iron from India is uh, uh, famous because it is very, very uh, rigid, very, very strong. Uh, strong Muy fuerte, no? Because uh, cast iron in India is made out of minerals, 
not out of scrap, which makes a lot of difference. The machine can be equipped like this one with an automatic pallet changer that allows the user to make different parts on each pallet or make the same part in the same pallet while the machine, the machine is making a part inside the operator is loading and loading the next uh, part. The machine also can do different part numbers up to the capacity, the volume uh, capacity of the pallet could be made three, four, five different part numbers or making the changeover in one side while the machine is working on the, on the working side. Guillermo, can you tell me a little bit more about this screen? Because you and I, I have to be honest with the audience, Guillermo and I went for a practice run on this entire booth because I needed to learn more and Guillermo wanted to see what it was like to be on camera, right? But you made a fascinating and fun joke about this screen and what people are able to do. Would you mind describing it again? Okay. You, everyone knows about or has heard about Industry 4.0. It is a monitoring system that allows me to follow uh, in real time the condition of the machine. How many hours has, uh, has the machine been working? Which operator, uh, operator is in, in, in charge? How many parts he does? What is the target? How many tool changes he made? Everything that is related to the efficiency and productivity of the machine, you can read from here. And you can also read this data, being on holidays in Cancun, eh, and still have control of what the machine is doing. Most of our customers that buy one of these, buy for all the rest of the machines. So for us, it is something that is very special because it's made eh, for the users. Well, Guillermo, before we go to Cancun, and I will take you up on that offer, let's go take a look at the third machine, shall we? So the third machine, as we walk over, seems like a very similar construction to the drill tap we were just looking at. And I want to reiterate to the audience, when we say drill tap, it can do milling as well. However, with 32,000 RPM, sometimes we might lose a little bit of that rigidity to really plow through the hard materials. And then we come here, this is the machine that's gonna get into that roughing, right? That's gonna really plow through the hard stuff. You are right, you are right. Uh, the difference between the, the other machine compared with that is that that machine is sought for production. Uh, it has a, a 40 taper spindle uh, the RPMs are, are a little bit lower, but we have more torque, so we can machine different materials, steel, cast iron, aluminum as well. And we have also the same features that I showed you in the previous machine. The machine has a pallet changer. When the machine is used for production parts, the most typical uh, operation is the machine is making a part on the working area while the operator is loading and unloading or making changeover. This is very important for customers that have uh, different uh, components to make uh, in the same shift, for instance, eh? so they don't lose money uh, and don't lose time by having the machine stop while making the changeover. Yeah, I mean, I've had this conversation a lot with my friends that watch, and it is all about that spindle uptime, right? We got to keep the spindle turning. It's a very famous saying, if you're not making chips, you're not making money. And pallet changes like this allow you to do the outside work while the spindle is turning. So now you're adapting the quality of this Indian, Indian precision with the price tag that looks so sweet and tempting, and the precision and automation that comes along with it as well, plus the customer support and service that comes from Guillermo here in Mexico for the last three years. He's already said it, when you buy one, you're gonna buy more. And that's the success that comes. If you haven't seen the other videos, check out the foundry, check out the factory tour, the hand scraping. It is all worth taking a look at. Guillermo, did you have fun today on your first video? Yes, yeah? I did. <laughs> Excellent, yeah, yeah. and thank, thank you, you so much for speaking oh, English you. with me because mi espanol es muy malo, lo siento. Be better than my English. No, sir. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again soon.